parts. With such a vast light collecting area and advanced instruments, Louvois will be able to directly image the exoplanets and obtain extremely detailed spectra. HABEX is similarly designed as a specialized planet hunting observatory equipped with a star shade. That's a large occulting screen that will fly in formation tens of thousands of miles ahead of the telescope to block out starlight. And that would allow the faint glow of nearby planets to be seen. Both concepts share a common goal, to find and study Earth-sized, potentially habitable planets around the sun-like and smaller stars, and to examine their atmospheres for signs of life. What could such telescopes do for K218b and similar worlds? First, they could perform more sensitive transit spectroscopy, mirror many times larger that of JWST, a Louvois-type telescope could gather far more photons from each transit of an exoplanet, significantly improving the signal-to-noise ratio of the spectrum. If JWST brings us to the threshold of detection, Louvois could confidently confirm the presence of DMS, or rule it out with certainty. Furthermore, a mission could cover a broader range of wavelengths, extending into the ultraviolet and deeper into the infrared, which JWST cannot reach. This would allow detection of other potential biosignatures or atmospheric indicators. For example, Louvois could search for substances like ozone in the ultraviolet or detect organic haze or other compounds at shorter wavelengths.